Hey there, look who I've got, Rachel Ray. How you doing? In San Francisco, in the house. I love being in the Bay Area. It's beautiful <laughs> here. I have friends that live in Oakland, so I love when I get to come visit. It's, it's a great food city, too. It's great, a great place food to be. city. And it's always cold here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from the Adirondacks. Uh -huh. I don't like hot, muggy. If I get above 70, I, yeah. Ugh. I'm with you. Yeah, I, I like love it. it here. The weather here is Isn't always great? perfect. There, you heard it from Rachel perfect. Ray. We've got perfect weather in San Francisco. <laughs> and it's a great food city. It is a beautiful food what city. What are your favorite, like, I gotta hit these restaurants if I'm in San Francisco. I gotta stop here well, for a I sandwich. Well, I go, you know, I go wherever my friends wanna go. I make, uh, my strategy is to make enough friends in each city that they will take you wherever the food <laughs> is. Must, must have when you come to San Francisco or the Bay Area? No, I think. Nothing? I mean, back in the day, I think, you know, there's always gonna be an affection for the first things we shot here 15 years ago at Food Network. So I guess Swan's Oyster Bar. Uh -huh. would probably be. You know, I remember standing online at like 10.40 in the morning and I'm like, this isn't lunchtime. Right. <laughs> By the Let's, time you get in, it right. will be lunchtime. Exactly. Then. But, you know, I think that would probably be my, my sentimental, you know, faith. That is a great place. Yeah. Okay, the folks here in the Bay Area, what a treat. You're coming to, to Channel 7. You know, we'll be new for so many people yeah. because this is the best um, positioning our show's ever had here. So I feel sort of like we're debuting for the first time in our nine years. But our show, if you're not familiar with it, is really about community, helping each other with small, fun information that's useful in some way. People see a lot of themselves, our viewers see a lot of themselves on our show, they're a, a huge part of our programming. We're always a friendly place to get an idea for what to make for dinner. Um, and this season, you know, because I make my living through food, it's also the way we choose to give back as a team. And our goal for season nine, along with our partners at Feeding America and Share Our Strength, we're trying to work with our viewers to raise in money or actual food um, enough food to feed 9 million hungry Americans. So our goal for season nine is to feed 9 million That's people. That's awesome. Yeah. How often are you working? Is it a seven day, 12 hour a day I don't for consider you, anything that I do, you know, I think it was Winston Churchill who said, if, if you do what you love, you're, you're really never at work. Uh -huh. And I'm a person who doesn't uh, do idle very well. You know, my, my husband and I literally came back early from our honeymoon because I just couldn't write any more journals or take any more pictures. Like, I can't, <laughs> I'm not good without, you know, right. goals, you know. Right. Technically, when am I filming? We film our daytime show between uh, September and May. And then I work for Food Network um, June, July, August. Those are the months that are open to them for taping. Um, and of course, write the magazine, you know, my columns for the magazine every month. And we do book a year. A couple of years I've, I've done two, but. So what's your downtime? When you do have downtime, what is cooking? I don't cooking? like downtime, okay. but the, my, my, my time that I'm at home up in the Adirondacks, I'm in the kitchen all day, and my husband's in his music studio all day. Um, I love to take pictures. Um, we love to travel. We were married in Italy, so we take all of our friends and family back to our, the scene of the crime, so to speak, every year, and have a fun weekend with them. Um, but we're pretty much homebodies. I like I like to be in rather than out. And when I'm home, I like to watch uh, TCM and old movies. I love to read thrillers. I like to take long walks with the dog, take lots of pictures. Um, and I love to cook. I, I, I do the same thing at home that you see me do on TV. I just don't talk as much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do a little speed round with you because I know you, okay. you do I'll it. I'll try. I, I'm you terrible do it on, speed I know, rounds because I talk like, too much. <laughs> you're like, wait a second. I can't give one a one-word answer. One answer could take like an hour. Right. I'll try. I'll okay, try. I'll try. Uh, I'll try and give focus. Give me the aroma of a meal that smells like brings you back to home. Garlic. Okay. Anything with garlic. Uh, aroma that makes you think of your childhood. Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa took care of me when I was little. Um, he was in our house a lot. And... I had the diet of like a, a Sicilian man in his mid-70s, <laughs> so I love sardines. Anchovy oil is the most delicious smell in the world to me. Garlic and anchovies cooking in olive oil on bread or soaked into breadcrumbs or tossed with spaghetti, I mean, that, that... It, it goes right to your heart, right? Yeah, it makes me teary, makes yeah. me miss him, he's not with us anymore. And, um, and at the same time makes me happy because it makes me remember him and I think of my mom and, and being home. Um, anything with eggplant always makes me think of home too, caponata and all that. And I think that's one of the great things about food. It can transport you back to people you, you miss. It can take you to places you've never been. It can be your scrapbook. Um, it's a, it's a, a conduit or a connector, you know, it's like So many emotions yeah. I think are, are tied mm -hmm. to food. Uh, the one dish, you're just like, I'm never trying that again. Nothing. I'm adventurous. I will cook anything. I also will eat anything for a bet. I was the kid in grade school. <laughs> really? When How to Eat Fried Worms came out, I would eat a worm if he gave really? me a dollar. Really? 
No problem. Yesterday, so I was at a Q&A. You wouldn't gag? Somebody said, gag. Oh. somebody said, well, eat dirt. You do it right now. And I took a big oh, wad of grass God. and knocked it back. <laughs> I don't eat anything on a bed. Somebody surveying you a drink, beer, or champagne? Red wine. Red wine. Oh, I was okay. married to Montalcino. My first word was vino. Okay. And my husband's first word was more. And I'm a red wine girl. Okay. I love champagne. It's fun. But that's like... Yeah, weekend mornings or something. Okay. If it's if it's nighttime and I'm making dinner, I'm drinking a nice uh, Italian red, probably a Sicilian grape, like a Nettle Davola. Okay. Uh, salt or sugar? Salt. For sure. Yes. I mean, not even let's, close. Let's hear it for water retention. Forget, <laughs> forget that, man. Did you I mean, not hear my love of anchovies? <laughs> salt. Not even close. I love that. I love that. Not even close. Uh, uh, girls' night in or girls' night out? In. Always in. Really? Yeah. So what would it look like, girls' night in? I live in pajamas when I'm home, so it could be a pajama party. Um, I like pasta because it's fun to eat right out of the pan. Um, and lots of the aforementioned red wine. Um, and music is very important. You know, you have to make a nice playlist for the right. evening. And then one final question. I talk to a lot of, you know, busy moms. They're multitasking. What skills would you say they need to at least teach their children? If they're... If they're going to uh, get them in the kitchen. Them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, don't just involve them in, in getting them in the kitchen. Take them shopping with you every once in a while and let them pick the color in the produce department. Let them pick the protein at the, at the meat or fish counter. Um, the more you can give ownership of the food um, a kid eats, it becomes a self-esteem issue for them. They, they want to eat it because they're a part of the, right. the whole process. And don't be uptight about, you know, making messes in the kitchen. Let them. You know, if you're really OCD or something, put down a drop cloth, for God's sake. You know, put a sheet on the floor and then throw it in the washer. <laughs> right. um, and don't take life or food too seriously is, is always my best advice to people. Have a sense of humor about your, your food and your family time. You know, dinner doesn't have to be a set time. It's supposed to be about sharing and enjoying each other and, and, and enjoying the food. So try and lighten up. Don't, don't be too uptight. Okay. Have some fun. Have some real. fun. A lot yeah. of fun. Rachel, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank You're you. a sweet You're a doll. Let's get a selfie because I'm a sure. big, I'm, I love social media. I was telling you before, the, the funniest selfie I ever took was the, our lovely first lady, Michelle Obama. And we were talking talk about the initiative when I was in Washington for part of the Let's Move campaign. And she took the selfie and we're dramatically different in height, <laughs> as you may have pieced I, together. I have heels on right now, and I'm feeling really yeah. tall right yeah, now. Yeah, you are. You're much taller than me right now. <laughs> Not um, really. But she went to take a <sighs> selfie of us, and all that made the picture is this much of my head. All I could check was my roots to see oh if I needed God. a dye job or something. <laughs> so it was a lovely, beautiful selfie of Michelle Obama. And, and just in your hairline. A few <laughs> alfalfa flyaways of Rachel Ray. <laughs> Okay, I think so we'll I think I think at least, I think at least I the think same. I like to do this. Finally made the Yay. selfie, and then I take a bunch <laughs> so that at least one oh of them will God, turn out. Oh my God, you can be like Kim Kardashian and, and sell the <laughs> no, sell no, the I ones can't. you don't <laughs> no, sell I the can't. ones that you don't post. <laughs>